Today, I'll show you how to do your Ledger crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today, we're actually specifically talking about a hard wallet, which is the Ledger. Um, currently, I have the Ledger Nano, but the procedure will be almost identical if you have other versions of it. So obviously, I'll tell you a little bit about Ledger itself, and then I'll jump into the integration part of this video. And then lastly, I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. And then of course, at the end, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, I'm going to leave a bunch of different resources that you can check out. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. So Ledger was founded in 2014, and it's based out of Paris, France. It is one of the most popular um, wallets on the planet, hard wallets on the planet, with over 4 million units sold, which is really impressive considering it hasn't even been around for 10 years. There are several versions of the wallet, including the Nano Plus S and the Nano X. These wallets store the user's private keys in a secure hard drive uh, device. The main principle behind hard drive wallets is to provide full isolation between private keys and your easy to hack computer or smartphone. So, you know, very popular item for people that are, um, you know, looking to be super safe with their keys and their crypto in general. But yeah, that's enough about Ledger. Let me show you how to do the integration. Okay, so first step, as always, go into the wallets area uh, in your Coinly section. If you don't have a Coinly account, you can create one. It's completely free to sign up and follow along until you're ready to get a plan. But yeah, anyways, go into the wallets area, click on add wallet. We're looking for a Ledger. So we're actually looking for this one. And there's two different options. There's the setup auto sync route and the import from file route. I will show you both starting off with the setup auto sync. So you can auto sync a ledger by adding public keys and addresses for your coins. So the first one we're going to start with is the Ethereum and Ethereum tokens. So first step, connect a blockchain, which is this button, um, and then find and select Ethereum on the following page and then enter a Ethereum public address, which you've probably done for many other things. Uh, wait a few minutes for this um, to finish importing all your Ethereum and ERC20 transactions. So pretty straightforward, let's do that. We're gonna click connect blockchain, we're gonna click Ethereum, and now we're gonna find our Ethereum public address. So in the ledger menu, ledger live menu, under the account section, we're gonna click on that. And then here is my Ethereum wallet. When you click on it, you should have an easy time finding the public address. Um, and currently I don't have that set up for this ledger uh, wallet that I'm using. Um, but obviously uh, you also want to connect your ledger and making and make sure that every transaction you have um, is updated and all that stuff is good to go. So make sure that's synced up. But here you would click on Ethereum and then you would copy and paste the Ethereum address into Coinly. So here is an example of an Ethereum address I've copied and pasted into Coinly. I've clicked import and it's as simple as that. So that's how you would import your Ethereum and ERC20 transactions from your ledger into Coinly. Okay, so that's one part of it. Let's move on into the next part. So also set up auto sync, but this time we're interested in Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, Dash, Litecoin, BSW, and so on. This time we're interested in something uh, known as the XPUB, YPUB, or ZPUB for each of these coins on your ledger. So just like before, we're gonna click on um, connect blockchain button down below, and then we're gonna create a separate wallet for each of these coins by entering the public keys um, from step one. So I'll show you obviously where those, uh, those keys are. So anyways, click on connect blockchain, click on Bitcoin. You can enter multiple public addresses by adding a comma between them. So that's entirely up to you. Um, going back into our ledger live menu, um, once again, making sure that our um, ledger is connected and everything is set up correctly. Uh, I have here under accounts, Bitcoin. And under here in the top right corner, there's a little wrench here um, that says edit account. Underneath it, we have an advanced option button. And here is where your XPUB is located. So um, obviously I'm gonna blur this part out, but you're gonna see it literally says XPUB and then it'll give you a long address and it'll be in quotation, um, sorry, in, um, in annotation marks. Um, so that's the one you're going to need. So making sure that your XPUB key actually starts with XPUB. Then you're gonna take that address and copy and paste it into Coinly and then click import and it's as simple as that. So that's the second part of the setup auto sync, just quickly running over the last part, which is very straightforward. So for all other keys, connect, uh, click on the connect blockchain button below, find the coin, um, you know, under, you know, in our list and then enter the public address. So very similar to the Ethereum um, procedure. So if you have any other coins you'd like to add, that is how you would do it. So that was the setup auto sync route. Let me show you now how to do the import from file option. So going back into Coinly, 
finding our ledger wallet, clicking import from file. And this time we're gonna go back into ledger and we're gonna go into the accounts area. And in the top right corner, there's a three, uh, three little dots that says options. From here, we have um, an option that says export operations history. So make sure to click that. And obviously we want to export all our data for all the different accounts that we're using. So whatever keys um, that you're using, we take that file, we drag and drop it into Coinly and we click import. And then Coinly does all the rest, which is figure out, you know, how much you paid for this coin, how much you sold it for, what your capital gains are, your income, and all that other complicated information. So once all that information is imported, whether you use the API auto sync method or you use the CSV file, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's up to your preference. You can go into the transactions area and kind of see underneath the hood what's going on here, making sure everything is correct and making sure all your transactions have been tagged correctly. You know, your staking sent to pool, sent from pool, stuff like that. Once you're happy with that, head over into the tax reports area and you'll see a summary of your crypto activity throughout the year. Um, you know, your income, your cost and expenses, your transactions, your capital gains, your PL, everything will be provided here. And once you're happy with that area, scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. So currently my portfolio is being updated. This might take a few seconds, um, you know, refresh the, uh, the page until this message is gone and then select a tax report. And we have plenty of different tax documentation. As you see on the screen before you, we have the, you know, documents for the US, the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax, both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Australia, and then Canada, Germany, other countries. We have the complete tax report, which is a document you can print off and give it directly to an accountant for them to combine it with other tax documentation. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accounts firm here with us. And then lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll about do it for today. A really um, straightforward video with a very popular hard wallet. If you need further assistance or have further questions, no problems. We have a bunch of different resources down below. Um, we have the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a um, forum section where we talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section where you can, you know, if you're having any issues with our software, or you can let us know. And then we have a contact section. Um, if you want to message us directly, we'd love to help you out. But I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.